Tesla has updated the supercharging rate of the Model S and Model X to 250 kilowatt, matching the capacity of the Model 3 and Model Y, suggesting 1000 miles per hour charging rate. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story coming later today. When Tesla launched Supercharger V3 last year, the automaker made it clear that only Model 3 would take full advantage of the new 250 kilowatt charge rate. For Model S and Model X, Tesla said that an upgraded charge rate would be coming soon through a software update without specifying anything else. Later, Tesla updated the Model S and Model X charge rate to 200 kW. It still wasn't as powerful as the Model 3 supercharging rate, but it was a decent bump that helped shorten the charging sessions of Model S and Model X owners. Last month, Tesla increased the Model S and Model X charging rate to 225 kilowatt through a software update for some of the most recent vehicles delivered. Now, Tesla has increased the top supercharging rate for the new Model S and Model X vehicles, according to an update of the specs on its website. This updated charge rate seems to apply to new Model S and Model X vehicles and not something available via a software update like the previous increases, at least for now. Why not available for software update? Because a little bit later you will see that Elon Musk talked about uh, increasing some wire thicknesses, which is impossible to do through software update. So this charge rate, uh, uh, it's not clear what is enabling the new charge rate that has now caught up to Model S and Model Y's charge rate. It was not clear in the beginning, but Tesla has been incrementally improving Model S and Model X vehicles over the last few years, and it is rumored to lead to a bigger update by the end of the year, probably when the battery day comes. Now, there was an update. Musk has now confirmed that Tesla had to, quote, increase some wire thicknesses in Model S and Model X to reduce resistive heating, end of the quote, in order to achieve the 250 kilowatt charge rate, commenting on Tesla Radis report on Twitter. For those who have been following this saga, it has never been exactly clear why the Model S and Model X top charging speed has fallen so far behind Model 3. Tesla has been using a different cell form factor in the new electric sedan, but the automaker claimed to have also updated the chemistry in the Model S and Model X 18,650 battery cells. Therefore, the limiting factor was never clear and many were puzzled by Tesla not upgrading the supercharging rate of its flagship models to match the important feature of its less expensive models. Friends, I think that it is a big part of why Model S and Model uh, X sales haven't been going well over the last year. Do you agree? Uh, let me know in the comments, please. There have been rumors lately on Tesla introducing a new battery pack for Model S and Model X recently, and that might explain the increased charge rate. In fact, we have reported in the uh, past that when test, uh, that during Tesla battery day, Tesla may introduce the Plaid Model S with the new million mile batteries so this may be leading toward that or maybe in some way connected some are also speculating that tesla might already be using the new in-house battery cell in the model s but that might be um, hopeful thinking we will probably find out more when the battery day comes on september 22nd now what do you think friends let me know about these things in the comment section below now i want to say a few words about the battery it is not clear if tesla's latest side update implies that newer production model s sedans and model x suvs have improved cell chemistry that can take advantage of the higher supercharging rate or if it's part of a fleet-wide software update that increases the threshold of the current battery technology so it's not clear 
According to the release notes from the most recent over-the-air update, Tesla cites improved battery preconditioning as the reason for the higher supercharging rate. Quote, your car is now able to charge at V3 superchargers at up to 225 kilowatt peak rates. As usual, when you navigate to a supercharger, your car will condition its battery during the drive so it can charge faster. End of the quote. With rumblings of a million mile battery being developed at Tesla's Skunk Works division in Fremont on Cato Road and the upcoming Battery Day presentation to be held on September 22nd, it wouldn't be far-fetched if the company has already began to align its battery cell technology among all of its production vehicles. Until now, only the Model 3 and Model Y have utilized Tesla's more efficient 2170 form factor battery cells, while the Model S sedan and Model X SUV retained the older generation 18,650 cells. The more slender uh, 18,650 cells resembling a household AA battery was popularized, popularized by its mainstream introduction in 2016, nearly four years ago to date when Tesla and partner Panasonic opened their Gigafactory 1 door in public in a showcase of battery cell mass production. Regarding updating Model S and Model X specs to include a maximum supercharging rate uh, of 250 kilowatt or a charge rate of 1000 miles per hour. Realistically, from a very low SOC for the Model S, it would be around 180 to 200 miles for 12 minutes because of taper at around 50% then around 280 miles after a total of 20 minutes, but that is still insanely good. Three half to four hour of highway driving, uh, three and a half to four hour of highway driving for 20 minutes of charging, that's, that's really good, I think, huh? at least for today's conditions. Now, this development is very good, but long overdue. So strange that the 2017 Model 3 can take a higher charging rate than the early 2020 Model S and Model X. Isn't, doesn't it sound strange to you? Tesla needs to go higher, and I think Tesla will. 250 kilowatt is good, but until they are able to recharge 300 miles in 10 minutes, which is absolute max, there is going to be far too many people that will complain they can fuel up an uh, IC EV quicker. 500 kilowatt would probably be sufficient, at least for the time being. What do you think? Also note that uh, not this part from Elon's tweet when he uh, tweeted the update saying we had to increase some wire thickness. I'm sure that this was something that was needed, but I'm not sure if it's the only thing that kept this faster charging possibility away from Model S and Model X units now. My feeling is saying that there is more going on here. I mean, it's Tesla and just thicker wires were in the way of this relatively long time, uh, long time span. I don't know, but probably in the next coming days or uh, weeks, we will find out more about this. Also friends, Keep in mind that charging gets really hot, even melting, exploding at Tesla in the past. Elon and his engineers struggled for so many sleepless nights trying to solve the coolant problem for, their, uh, for these superchargers. Success you see today didn't come seamlessly without hitches, just like world Olympians who score perfect scores. They, will, um, they fell and bled so many times before becoming that final product of landing perfect 10 seconds to hoist a gold medal, tends to hoist a whole gold medal. Also, charge rate is not about what a battery can max out at. It's about convenience versus rate of wear. Faster charging rates reduce life expectancy. Newer chemistries can reduce the rate of loss, but there is no magic number that comes from a chemistry. It's about how hard the company is willing to drive the batteries. Add to this that the new chemistries, battery chemistries, cannot be field tested for years or decades before release and rely on synthetic aging which is imperfect and probability analysis and projected failure rate warranty cost calculations. 
no matter the chemistry the battery chemistry um, the slower charge rate will extend life about uh, above about 0 0.25 c is used for convenience and tesla probably does statistical analysis on the present fleet over time to decide if it's worth the cost benefit ratio to allow a higher charge rate also companies can decide that accelerating wear or plant obsolescence or even marketing need can dictate allowing a product to wear out faster well friends let me know what you think about these developments and what you think about this faster charging opportunity for model s and model x and suggesting 1000 miles per hour charging rate uh, in the meantime this is armin harian from torquenews.com uh, please subscribe to our channel ring the bell when you subscribe so you don't miss my next tesla story and also what do you think about uh, what tesla will do on the battery day because the more battery day gets closer the more things get become interesting and the more updates we get from tesla the more we try to um, connect them to the battery day and the tesla's announcement because battery day i think is going to be one of the major if not the major event of tesla in 2020 stay tuned for another very good story coming soon have a blessed day take good care of each other and peace to all of you.